How's it going folks? Jeff with Trusted Electric making this video to talk about why we do not bond at a sub panel and it's only bonding, uh, it's only important to bond at the service disconnect. So I'm not sure if you can see right here, I'm on the neutral, this system has a bare neutral and we've got a reading of 0.6 amps. Um, and so that's return current um, going back to the source. However, as you can see, this panel was installed with the bonding jumper, or in this case, bonding screw installed in, although this is the, in a sense, main panel, it's not the service entrance. So, like I said, bonding only at the service entrance. So watch what happens to this number when I take this bonding screw up. You'll see it jump almost doubled to 1.1. So what's happening there? What happens is, is when you have your ground and your neutral bonded prior to your service entrance, you have current that's basically splitting the difference. So half of it's traveling on the neutral in this case, and the other half is traveling back on the ground for the panel. So we never really want current flowing on the ground unless, you know, unless it's the case of a ground fault. So that's why it's super important that we don't bond um, because otherwise, you know, like I said, in this case, we have, you know, half an amp, just a little over half an amp flowing back to our service disconnect um, and to our service entrance on the ground. So more you know.